and welcome back. This is Beller Scuba with Let's Play the Seventh Saga. This is Necro, and followed by uh, Valsu there. We are going to be going east of Tulane, getting into a fight right off the bat. Like I said, we are going east of Tulane into this cave here, and good lord, that is a lot of treasures. Hopefully I will be able to find all of them, but I haven't been able to find all of them yet. There is a new enemy here that I wanted to show off for you guys. It is here, yes, next to the spy deck that I hate so much, is a platter. It is an upgraded statue, pretty much, um, and it does quite a lot of damage, as you might expect. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get rid of this spy deck. It does go down, and then I'm going to follow that up with a star rune on Necro, because that platter does a lot of damage. Oh, good lord, look at that. I'm going to defend, and star rune on Valsu. Hopefully he won't be killed after this. No. Alright. Go for the attack. Oh, he's got so much HP. It is just annoying. Water rune on Valsu because I do not want him to die, which would always be nice if my partner did not die. Defend. Awesome. Wilm's high agility is paying off once again. And that should finish him off. Got a crit because I wanted it, apparently. So that is a platter or plater. I'm going to assume that it's a platter again. And I don't know. It's just such small text quantities. And they give quite a bit of gold and experience. And now we're going to move on to find treasure. After this fight. This is a pretty big dungeon here. A uh, little big cave. There is an easy way out, but I am not going to be taking it this time. One thing you guys might already know about me, but I have never really said. I don't like to do things twice. I like to get it done once. I am finding treasure here and a fight. But when I do uh, do things once, I like to do it as complete as possible. And oh crap, this is going to be a king trick, isn't it? Oh, boss music and everything. Uh, yes it is. I'm gonna be right back after I finish this thing off. What? Only a pearl out of that thing? That's just nothing. Not even worth it. Valsu is quickly becoming, uh, simply a guy there to use the runes. But I don't know how people can do this just with one person. Valsu did get a level up. No new spells or anything cool like that, though. Alright, going down? No, I don't want to go down yet. There's still some treasure up there. I want treasure. So let us see if we can get it. It should be, yes, there's a way up and over here. Hopefully I can avoid everything on the way. And we get a topaz, always nice, and a king trick. And that one got me another topaz. These king trick fights are not working out like I thought. All right, hopefully I can make it to the left and get these. Yes, I can, uh, but not before another fight. All right, let's get what's in these treasure chests. We have an antidote, well, I'm always useful when there's spy decks or red demons or anything like that, and a bottle of agility, always good. So let us move on to a fight. You know, I'm starting to think I get the hang of the battle system here. It did take a while though. It is incredibly reliant on items. And that is something that I am simply not used to from an RPG. Most games that I've played are really relying on you to attack, um, possibly use magic, but uh, this game, no, items. Items, items, items. Alright, so we should be able to get that last treasure down there before I exit this little cave system here, but not before another fight. I'm starting to think that this game hates me because it won't let me get the chest. So we get a potion three, which is always nice. Let's go over here. Hopefully we can find our way to those stairs that I went down earlier. Well, here's a set of stairs. I don't think it's the same one, though. Uh, it doesn't look like it was the same one, but there is more treasure to be had down here. And wow, this place is going to look like it's going to be complicated. So the day that I'm recording this, it is a big day for MMA. That is uh, mixed martial arts, um, you know, UFC, all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's actually two big uh, events today. Are you guys into that? Uh, that's something that you guys watch. Um, I know. 
I know that uh, most of my viewers are um, outside the United States, uh, specifically in Europe. Do you? And I know that uh, mixed martial arts is growing as a sport. So I'm curious if you guys, uh, you get uh, the MMA out in um, Europe or whatever country you guys are in. There was there were quite a few. And here, let me fight this king trick. That king trick gave me a ruby, which is awesome. I'm not sure which way I went. Man, this game requires you to use items a lot. It's getting insane with this. Um, I don't think this is the way I came, so hopefully I should be able to find more treasure this way. I uh, won't be able to get those ones in the south just yet. God, the encounter rate in this game is high. Okay, uh, this is the other way to go to up the stairs. English fails me when I am confused. So, if that was the other way up the stairs, I need to go south here. Alright, so, yes, if we go west here, we'll get a room with two treasure chests! Alright, come on, no tricks, no tricks, no tricks! Trick! That one just got me another topaz, but I already have so much money I don't seem to care that much. And that's a... Vitality Seed? I, I believe that increases your HP uh, by up to 4. I will definitely be getting that 4, I believe, off screen. Uh, going north now, let's go east because I see some yellow dots over there, and I like me yellow dots. Uh, but I don't like fights. And Necro leveled up again. I have found a decent uh, strategy for these long caves. Uh, as I pick up a protection seed. Wow. Um, what I usually do... Um, okay, no mirrors for me. What I usually do now is, when there's just one enemy left, I usually try not to kill it. At least not kill it right away. I, what I've been doing is I've been healing up with the water rune? Is this the way I came in? You know what, I think the, the, the exit is over here somewhere, so uh, I do believe this is the right way. But like I was saying, don't defeat the enemies right away. Use the water room to heal up, that way you don't have to use um, potions and magic outside of battle. And that is out, and we're on the other side. On to, uh, let's see where we are on the map as if it's going to help us. We're on... A little speck outside the shrimp but altogether uh, but this is the ruins I believe I believe they said that there are ruins over here this little continent here has some nice music and there's a town so let's see what's inside um, well I hear the town music but this this is definitely ruins um, yeah columns definitely mean ruins sorry um, there are very few places with standing columns like that. What the hell is that on the floor? A crystal of peace! So, um, I have no idea what those are, but I, uh, if they want me to have them, I will take them. Crystal of peace, three. No idea how many there are. Um, I did look it up, I want to say that there's seven, but I could be wrong. Um, I do have three so far, but I will just, I'll, I'll probably have to walk all the way around to find all of them anyways. Uh, so, there's four. I shouldn't be missing any. Five. I don't, you know, I don't even know if these are randomly generated. Uh, so much of this game is just so random. Uh, six. And seven. Alright, so seven crystals apiece. That does look like it's everything here. And holy crap. Um, hey, what's up? So hold on, uh, let me take a quick pause break right here. All right, I definitely have time to take this guy on. What is up, dragon dude with the rune behind you? I can see the pedestal there. Oh, okay, whatever. What kind of battle cry is that? Didn't really bother healing up. I've been pretty much healing up this entire time. Uh, but the first thing I want to do is use a star rune on Necro. And that would explain why. Followed by a star rune on Valsu. Like I said, items, items, items. I might as well put items as the first 
um, little option here on the menu because that's what you're going to be doing first and foremost. And then followed by defend for both guys and he raises his defense almost this early in the- oh this guy sucks right now I'm telling you. Oh this is going to take forever. Uh, let's go ahead and use a B power on Necro. I should have done that earlier. A little DNA and my power goes 121 up. Um, can I? Let's try using an ice on him, see how that does. 51, that's not bad, but it's not that great either. I did defend with him, right? 113, that's not too good, actually. This is going to take forever. Luckily, I do have the water runes. Let's keep up on those. Back up to full health. Defend again. Holy shnikes. What the... Is that my computer glitching that out? That did not look right at all. Let's put that back on Necro. Um, I don't think I defended. So let's go ahead and do that. Another water rune on Necro. That thing did a lot of damage to him. I think 80 something. He's still not up full. 27 damage there. That's not too bad. 159. That did look like a critical. Uh, let's go ahead and just defend for you because I don't have anything for you to do right now. Defend for you. Oh, he misses twice in a row. That's got to suck. Go for the attack. 111 damage. And he's... Oh, I wish that would reflect right on you. Oh, that missed on Necro. And uh, it doesn't do that much damage to Valsu. But let's heal him up anyways. Uh in case it push comes to shove I do want to heal Necro for he is my primary attacker pretty much the only one doing damage right now defend defend uh, let's defend again uh -huh. you missed alright so I'm slowly whittling this guy down I don't know if he has a proper name so I'm just calling him Dragon right now um Really, like I said, Valsu is there just to use items. Oh, that did work. So I'm going to have to use a star rune on him again. Uh, that is vital, actually. You know, I'm, don't do this battle without the star rune. I don't think you can, but definitely use it and keep it up constantly. Um, I do believe I defended. Uh, no, I didn't. Holy sh Nikes that did a lot of damage to both of us. But right now, it is more important that you heal up Necro. Defend. Alright, go ahead and heal yourself right now. Necro can survive another one of those hits. Go ahead and attack. Oh, so close. Can Valsu finish him off? Oh, no, he can't still. Alright, he that should finish him off though. And the dragon oh that is what he's called. The dragon goes down in four. I get a thousand gold and twenty two hundred experience. Uh but I just leveled up so that is not gonna be enough for another level up. Um and the dragon is defeated. Is there anything on his grave? No, of course not. How about here? No. And we get to the pedestal and no what uh, Epic fail music. Oh my gosh. The the Skyrim's gone. It 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 is no longer here. It is gone. It's it's it it is not on the pedestal. Sorry, I just wanted to hear that crappy music again. Oh my gosh, the Skyrim is gone. Oh Okay, so I assume that one of the apprentices stole it. So let us go back. Uh, this town is, by, by the way, it's called Lose. Because you lose the Skyrim here, I assume. Or, the, was it Skyrim? Yeah, it was Skyrim. Uh, so let's go to T-Lane. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, g warping to each town, leaving it, and look... It is flashing the sky rune it is here. Uh, so I'm going to find out exactly where. After I heal up, and hopefully we'll take on an apprentice who stole it, That's and I will be able to get it back uh, next time on Let's Play the Seventh Saga. 
this has been Baller Scuba. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Bye.